Hello everyone, it's Rita here, and um, yeah, my desk is all kind of torn up, but I've been playing with the um, accordion fold journal, and just want to keep working on it because first of all, it's fun, and second, I want to get it done. So, um, I'm just going to do a little bit of ephemera stuff, and I've already made a pocket and, oh, I didn't bring it in here, but this is an envelope that was in my mom's little uh, stash of stuff. It was a invitation or something um, from 1973. And um, I just love the gray uh, stamp on there. And so I just started putting some collage stuff on it and a little lace and became a pocket. And I thought it would look cute right here. This would be actually showing. So I thought I would do that on this page. Um, I'm going to have to rip some of this off. And let me see. Yeah, the pocket is going to have to be up a little higher because it's um, actually cut right there. Um, I could do that or I guess I could just make, it's just so flimsy. I don't think it'll make a good pocket. All right, let's just pretend that this is what I'm working with here. And I think I'll get my tear ruler. So let's go rip. I really do like that edge on there because it's part of the original um, dictionary page. Now I better just, I'm just going to cut these down on both sides a little, see if it fits. So I hope everybody's doing good. Um, yesterday's video, by the time this one comes out, it'll be yesterday. The day before that, I had, um, my camera went off and... So I got sidetracked, you know, and I didn't get back to it the same day, so I couldn't get it uploaded. My friend came by, and, um, you know, we just had a great time visiting, and she's trying to help me with my head, or my, well, she thinks it's my ear, in her ear, and um, so I did some exercises that she suggested for when the crystals are out of balance in your ear. Okay, I'm going to have to take off a smidgen more. Um, I think I'll just take it off one sec. Oh, I do like those. Let's take it off this sec. Um, when you get older, I guess, or I don't know if you have to be old, but anyway. Um, <laughs> it seems like everything happens when you're older. It's not fair, really. I don't know that... Right. Okay. So this will be glued onto this page. I think that would be just fine. And then this is going to come up. Um, so the exercise that she had me do was kind of weird. You just like drop your head. You let, sit on your bed and you just fall over on the side that your balance is off and um, so I did it and it seemed like it worked and then it kind of came back uh, this morning and so I did it a couple more times now this afternoon it doesn't feel like it's as bad so gosh it would be great but you know, I have tests scheduled, and she said, go ahead and get those done, because you never know. It could be something totally different. So, anyway, that's what I've been doing, and I've been playing with floss. To try. I have those little floss thingies, and um, if anybody wants those, let me know, because I would be happy to make some and, you know, put them on my uh, big cartel. And you could just go in there and purchase them. They won't be as high as they are on Etsy, I can tell you that. 
The only problem is shipping. I don't know how much shipping would cost. That's the worst part of everything these days, is shipping cost. And uh, their prices are changing again. July 9th, I think, my uh, shipping company that I use, it's called um, Pirate. What's it called? Something Pirate. Just go Pirate Shipping. If you're shipping out and it's a lot cheaper, well, in most cases, it's a lot cheaper than just going straight to the post office. If you have a printer, because you have to really be able to print it out once you've bought the label. But it's so easy for me. Okay. I like that kind of look there. So let me see. Maybe I can sort of glue it down. Not totally, but enough to keep it there. And I hope my light is not too much of a glare. I got another light. It's just a bar that you plug it in to the good old electricity and was much cheaper. Okay, so I'm going to put that right there. I think that's perfect. I don't know what to put in the pocket yet, but I'm happy with that. I'm trying to do things, you know, just a little different. We get tired of the same old pockets, the same old tags, same old, same old. Unless you're brand new, then you're, you're in luck because you have a lot of time to make all the things you've, that you see uh, to make. But then once you've made a lot of them, you kind of just want do, to do something different. And I know that most of you out there are not into mass making journals either. You know, you make them for a friend or whatever. I have this card. I thought maybe that might look good. This little bird sticking out. This kind of goes with that one I had in the front of, I think it's, well, it's pretty much covered up now. It's back there. Yep, I think it's the same one. But see, it printed out really large, so it became all pixely. But anyway, doesn't that look, yeah, that looks up like that. Okay, forgot how to do that. So let me just um, put this in. I'm gonna round the corners, I think, on it. I guess I should, now I'm gonna do it first. Let's just do a quarter inch. Um, there we go. And then, I don't know, I've got this thing about this ink, this um, frayed burlap. Just kind of like that color. I'm really happy with the last two that I bought, which was the old paper and this burlap. And I didn't really pick this color, but it came in a, like a four pack. And it's the only one that had the um, old paper and it was a four pack. Okay, so I'll sew around that and then I'll do the bottom. I will do the background. So, I don't know that it needs anything else other than stitching. Maybe, maybe I could put a little, I went and cut several like pieces of gray. That's where I got that from. Gray and yellow. Okay, well, I don't want those everywhere either. So, I don't think we need to put anything else on this. Now this side here, I feel like you can journal easily on that one. This one, you can journal on. This one I finished this um, tag and I need something down here. 
but I did this inside here and um, you can write on the back of that and I thought I needed something here I'm not sure um, I wonder if I could just stamp some or I could stencil I don't know. I hate to do anything that's going to really kind of, you know, make it weird. I've got these corners that I pulled out. I could just add that. No, it doesn't fit in that corner with that. just getting a feel for it not two different corners but hmm. I think I'm gonna just stamp on there a little oh I got this little squiggly maybe that would be just enough to give it some something okay Put that out of here I think this is, I took this off of the, I don't think it'll stick. I've got to get that cling stuff. That'll work though. Um, this one I took off of the rubbers, uh, off the block. Okay, I think I'm just going to bring it on the bottom here. 2007 Stampin' Up. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't, I was thinking maybe here too, but I, no, I don't like that. I think that's good. I just want to give it um, something. And I think that is fine. And this I dyed with um, that uh, plumus gray or something ink. I just didn't want to cut it. I don't know if I want to make a bow. Um, I don't think I do. I'm just going to cut it. This is vintage. Um, it was white. It's got holes in it. Look at where it came out of the machine, you know, and then some of it looks like. So anyhow, I kind of like that. Look, I'm still going to find something probably to put at the bottom. I may just totally forget. Uh, this piece here, I just put that on, and then this is a clip, which can be used for all journaling. So let me, I was going to make another flip thing. I don't know where I'm going to put it exactly, but so this one, you kind of want whatever design you want, you need to kind of get an idea for that. Um, this is going to be a pocket, a flip pocket. So let's say, let's do it right here. Yes. And we're just going to fold it. This one is going to fold back. I could do. Let's see if I go double. Mm. Kind of want it to be a little stronger. Let's see. This is just going to fold into. It's either going to fold there or fold here, which would be on the other side of the page. Which that would be okay. All right, let me paint this a little. Um, uh, that's kind of a lot. Oh well. Do you, let's see if this is going to fit. 
Oh yeah, no problem. I want to make something and then it doesn't fit. Okay, so this is going to go here, and we're going to glue. Oh, first I got to punch. I'm gonna punch here. Uh, let's see how wide is that. Three and a half exactly. So that would be two and three quarters. Mm, two. No, not two. One and three quarters. One and three quarters of that. Um. Now on this side, the last time I did this, I put some paper here because, um, let's see if I have a piece of scrap. Oops. I just put a little something there like that. That would work. Do I have another small little one? I'm just, I don't want that to be bigger, only because it might, if I have to fold the other side, I don't want it in the way. All right, so, hold on. Actually, I need to glue it to the side. Duh. Sorry about that. Last time I made one of these, this is uh, one of Rachel's weekly things. Okay. Up a little bit. I'll just ink it. I will just ink it away. what's going to show yet. Alright, so now I'm going to glue here and here. That will make the pocket. So tomorrow I'm going to go to a place that carries the thread that I need for my um, just need to fold it so that it can go over to the other side of the, of the page. I'm going to go to this uh, little antique mall that we have not too far from here that carries um, all right, I'm going to also punch here carries the floss that I'm looking for for journal uh, for a uh, stitch that I'm doing it's a sampler I don't know if I can see it my eyes are so bad but I'm 
getting that. I have an eye appointment Friday, but I also have um, the, at the same exact time um, my the CT scan that they're going to do. So I called the eye people. I haven't heard back from them yet to change my appointment time. Either than changing the CT time. Okay, so there we go. So this is a pocket for a journal card. And let's find a page. All right, it's going to have to go on this side. Yep. So. That looks pretty together. And then on this side would be this, which would be another pocket. And I was gonna leave these for journaling, but they're so blah, so plain. So let's cover we'll cover this, but light enough that we can journal on it. Let's see, what do I have? I keep putting this piece on here and I just don't, I don't, the tone is not right. I just need to get it out of my way. Let's see. And that's the same one. it needs whatever it is it's got to be have that yellowish color so this one would be nice I think let me put my lid on here so I'll just put this page on and uh, the flip and that'll be it I'm not gonna take all your time today I've been doing this for a few hours now I went and cut some die cuts and, you know, that is big enough, right? Yeah. I don't know why my printer printed them off. Some of them they print printed with the um, borders. I don't have to usually cut borders very often. New blade, new blade. I keep telling myself, then it'll cut just fine, and then it won't. All right. Mark this. I think I told you too. The next time I do one of these, I will do the journal pages. You know, the cardstock. Um. The same as um, the eight and a half by eleven, so it would be so that way when I go to get these papers to put on each side, I only have to cut it down the middle and they'll work on both sides. This way I have this extra, and it's too sh too small. Okay, let's cut the corners. Since I started that, now I'm continuing it. Maybe in the next video I'll come up with another journal to make. I, I'm like undecided here. I was going to do some mushroom stuff, and then I thought, no, I mean, either I don't, I mean, I can get mushrooms, but probably have digitals with mushrooms but just mushrooms I like it to be something different um, I think I'm gonna have to ink around this edge just because it's a little bit stark yeah. because it's probably uh, 
um, stamped behind here. What I could do is, how about, I'll put a little, um, One thing about that, you can't tell if it's upside down or not, really. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fine. You can put a little of this follow through. I feel like Tanya right now. <laughs> oh, now I want to do this side. I have to go back and do all the pages. I'm just kidding. Um, but these white ones are very white. Okay. And you know, if you used, um, say, your printed cardstock, you know, the papers in, if I did the papers in cardstock, card I wouldn't have to like cover every one of them. But I kind of think that just gives it the extra uniqueness of it. Just um, covering them seems to work well. Okay, so now this is going to go like that, and like that, and this is going to be glued down here to make this uh, tuck. Um, so I need to cover this here. This might fit. I mean, Pages alike. I don't think it matters. I'm gonna do that. Okay. I'm also gonna ink around, or not ink, but I'm gonna stamp around these edges. I can't see this from the. side. Just a little higher. Could be something's not totally straight either.
mark this so I know where to lay that page down. Sliding it over. Get a new sheet here. Okay, so let's check this side just to make sure nothing's out of whack. And it is a little bit, but not that much. So I'll just leave it right there. feel like I needed to put something here for a little more strength, but but I didn't. I think I'm going to run a little bit of glue right there too. All right. It's not like anybody's going to be pulling on it too much. So we'll get a journal card there. I have this little piece that I made. I don't know why it's so stiff. To just um, plain. I'm not going to put it there right now, but I think it looks cute here. And I can add my little bird there and just make it a tuck. So... Okay, how much time do we have? Okay. Hmm. I don't know why this is like this. Maybe it's part of the paper. I don't know. But, um, I think it'll look okay. It's either that or this lighter one. Hmm. I think I like the dark. Okay. So let's see, I think we can just go this way with it. We're in the 90s today, I think. I haven't been outside, but I keep hearing my air take off. And I have it set like at 77. Um, I don't get as hot as I used to. I'm more cold than I am hot anymore. I feel like my mom, oh gosh, she used to have the house so hot. You couldn't breathe, really. I'd have to walk in, and the first thing I would do would um, turn off the heater or 
turn on the AC. She never complained though, because you know, she knew as soon as we left or I left, she could change it back. But I kind of know how she feels now. I just hate one dark, dark blog. Okay. So I see if I could put that at the bottom, but I don't. Green, the same as that. Okay. Gosh. It's easier for me to ink like that than it is to do that, you know, going along the edges. And it just seems like it takes a long time. It's noisy. Like the glue stick is. around the same as that. Oops. Hmm. Might as well just leave that out. All right, so I'm just going to set this here. bird down there. I think I want to say I stapled this together, but I don't I don't see a staple on the back, so. Right. So the beak is gonna stick out. <laughs> this back of this magazine or whatever it is I cut out it's a little difficult to um, work with possible that it's because it's shiny and it shiny doesn't stick as well. Alright, I think I got all of it now. Okay, so that's it. So now we just need a journal card for here and we're going to need something in here. 
And then we've got this uh, card for that. And I think that would be great for just journaling, in my opinion. And I wanted to make sure that it's not getting too big, but it's it's doing well. It is doing pretty good. Let's see if I this one I still have to finish something on that on that. checking to see. And I did this on, I started with that one, didn't I? This one is ready to glue on here. I've got this pretty lavender behind it, and I've got this lavender, so I don't know exactly. Oh, I love this. Oh, and I just put this leaf in it. It's like um, a silk thing. I don't know where I got it, but Instead of putting a journal card in there, I'm just going to put that. And then if somebody wants to put a journal card, they can. But I'm just, I just love it. You have to go all the way to the end to see it. Okay, so that's it for today, you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.